the upper half of the rifle now, the upper assembly. Starting at the front over here, we have Yankee Hill muzzle brake because flash hiders are illegal in New Jersey. Pinned and welded to a 14 and a half inch Yankee Hill chrome lined barrel with diamond fluting. You might be able to see that through. If I could get the lighting and the angle, there you go. Some diamonds, diamond fluting to reduce weight just a little bit. And then right here is a two piece Yankee Hill gas block. The reason for two pieces is because you will never get a one piece past your muzzle brake. This is, like I said, 14 and a half inches, but then you add the brake, pin and weld it, it gets you to about 16 and an eighth, 16 and a quarter, something like that, which gets you just above the legal minimum for a civilian rifle without any tax stamp and keeping it New Jersey legal. Moving on, there is a JP Enterprises 15 and a half inch rail system, which is why you see just a little bit of muzzle brake coming out. I like that extra long rail system, number one, because I can stretch out on it. I'm a tall guy. Number two, it gives me a really long sight radius, which I appreciate. On top of that rail system, you have standard sling stud, pick rail, uh, pick rail segment here, here, and here. This one I already pointed out. I'm eventually going to put a light on. This one for my folding front sight. And then the last one for a tango down stubby grip. I use a half and half grip, two fingers on the on the stubby, two fingers on the JP rail, thumb over the top, and look, oh, it lines up right where my light's gonna be. How convenient. Meanwhile, the front sight is a folding magpole style front sight, matches the folding magpole style rear sight. It folds down, stays out of the way, folds up when I need it. These are the metal style of Magpul uh, backup iron sights. I do not like plastic iron sights. They do not hold a zero. Moving on further back, we have the upper itself is a Wilson Combat uh, forged upper. Inside of that, let me put this back, is a Liberty or Death flash hider. Uh, excuse me, Liberty or Death dust cover, which I picked up off Brownells. The bolt carrier system is from Fail Zero. It's the nickel boron coated bolt carrier system to help just maintain a little bit of lubricity if you happen to be running in dry conditions. They say you don't need to oil it. I would recommend oiling it anyway. You can't hurt anything by adding oil to it on a gun. Um, you can, but not in this case. Moving backwards, that's just a standard round style forward assist. I don't like the extended style because it tends to get caught on things. Folding that down so you can see the ambidextrous Badger Ordnance charging handle. Standard GI style on the right side, on the right-handed left side, and then an extended giant karate chop it with the side of your fist style. On the right side, for us left-handed people, this is, after all, my gun, and I am left-handed, so you can see the size of that square. I can basically karate chop that at any angle, grab it at any angle, and I'll never have to worry about missing the charging handle. So, that is the upper on my AR. Overall, it fits me extremely well. I can run this gun extremely quickly. You can find a couple of other videos on this YouTube page of me running the gun really quickly and I just figured you guys might want to see what's going on to keep it both ambidextrous and jersey legal with a little side order of tall so thanks a lot this is the Jewish Jersey gun guy signing out